Good evening and welcome to the Wyzetta Public Schools Board of Education Organizational and Regular Meeting for January 9, 2017. We'll please come to order and will uh, our clerk, Ms. Polzine, please call the roll. Yes, Ms. Cohen. Ms. Keene. Here. Ms. Johansson. Here. Mr. Brown. Here. Mr. McCullough. Here. Ms. Lucky. Ms. Polzine. Here. And Dr. Anderson. Here. Thank you. Uh, our first order of business tonight is the election of school board officers. At the December 5, 2016 school board special work session, the school board reviewed its officer slate. Individual board members indicated their interests in serving as officers for 2017, and a proposed slate of school board officers for 2017 was created. Is there a pro proposal for an officer slate for 2017? Mr. McCullough? I would like to propose the following slate of officers for 2017. Uh, for chair, Mr. Chris McCullough. Vice chair, Ms. Sarah Johansson. Treasurer, Ms. Cheryl Polzine. And clerk, Ms. Andrea Keene. All right, thank you, Mr. Brown. Uh, the recommended action is to approve the school board officer slate that Mr. Brown just proposed uh, for 2017 and until re-election procedures in January 2018. Is there a motion? I so move. And a second? Second. Any discussion? All right, if not, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Abstentions? Okay, thank you. We now have our school board officers for 2017. I guess I'd like to uh, first welcome Andrea Keene as our new school board clerk. And thank you very much for serving as our treasurer last year. We really appreciate it. My pleasure. I would also like to uh, welcome Cheryl Polzine as our new treasurer. And thank you for your work as our school board clerk for, I think, a few years before this. So thank you very much, and welcome to both of you in your new roles. Thank you. Our next order of business is to approve the agenda and consent agenda items. Consent agenda items are considered to be routine in nature and will be enacted by one motion. There will be no separate discussion of these items unless a board member or citizen so requests, in which event the item will be removed as a consent agenda item and addressed. The consent agenda items are listed in the board materials and the recommended action is to approve the agenda and consent agenda items. Is there a motion? I so move. Thank you, is there a second? Second. Any discussion? All right, and with uh, our consent agenda items, we do take a roll call vote. So, Ms. Keene, in your new role, please, please take a roll call. <laughs> I'll do my best. Thank you. Ms. Johansson? Yes. Ms. Lucky? Ms. Paulzine? Yes. Mr. Brown? Yes. Ms. Keene? Yes. Ms. Cohen? Mr. McCullough? Yes. Thank you. All right, we have an agenda. Thank you. Uh, the next item on our agenda tonight is reports from organizations, and it's, I see that we have uh, a representative from Wyzetta High School Student Council, so Jessica, let us know what's going on at the high school. Hi everyone, I am a senior at Wyzetta High School and the student council representative here at the school board meetings. So in general school news, registration for the 2017 through 2018 school year begins next week at the high school. On January 18, students will receive their registration materials, and there will be many different parental meetings offered to help learn to um, help learn all the class options available to high school students. On January 31st, students and parents can come to curriculum night at Wyzetta High School and meet with teachers from different departments to learn about specific course offerings. Presentations are also made at each middle school to help current eighth graders make class selections, and students will be able to register online um, and must be completed by February 17th. Also, Leanne Jasper's Graphic Design 3 and Advanced Graphic Design students participated in a call for artists through the University of Minnesota's Law School Center for New Americans this term. The class has designed artwork for buttons to convey that the wearer is an ally for immigrants, and Frank Fatro, a junior, had his artwork chosen for mass production and distribution by the center. I posted the stories even on their Facebook page at Minnesota Center for New Americans. Also, Empty Bowls Alumni Night is coming up on January 17th and January 19th, where WHS alumni are invited to attend bowl making and trimming in D206. Um, and if you have any questions, just contact Kate Martinez. 
In student council news, we have selected our 2016 distinguished alumni recipient, Mrs. Barrett Francis, and she would like her college-aged children to be able to attend the ceremony, so we're going to present her with this award in late May of this year. <coughs> Um, Mrs. Francis has faced many life challenges and as a survivor, recovering from a sexual assault and supporting her daughter as she fights brain cancer, Barrett has reacted to challenges and tragedies with the passion to do what she can to educate with the hope to eradicate sexual violence and cancer in the world. She remains optimistic that she is helping to make a difference for others and we're going to advertise the date of the ceremony once it is confirmed and all community members are invited and encouraged to attend. The Mr. Wyzetta competition will take place at Wyzetta High School on Friday, February 10th in the auditorium. And the next night, Student Council is partnering with National Honor Society for the winter semi-formal dance and casino night on February 11th in the new auditorium foyer area and in our new culinary space. Um, tickets are on ePay and all of the proceeds are going to go to the NHS Heart Week charity, Rain and Sarcoma. Um, Heart Week runs the, the week following the dance, February 13th through 17th. And in fine arts news, the theater department is currently presenting the competition one act play The Mail Order Bride on January 19th and January 20th. And tickets are on, also on ePay. And our choir will be competing in the Lake Conference Varsity Choir Festival on January 31st. And in athletics news, the dance team will be competing in the Lake Conference Championship on Thursday. And they will host their annual Wyzetta Invitational on Saturday, January 21st. And this competition is available on live stream on EdTV. And finally, the boys basketball team has also seen a lot of success so far being undefeated this season. So that's all of the announcements I have, if anyone has any questions. Any questions for Jessica? All right. Very thorough, Very thorough report. Thank you. <laughs> and thanks for Thank braving you. the snow on the way here tonight. Appreciate it. All right. The uh, next item on our agenda is recognitions. So I'll turn it over to Dr. Anderson. Thank you, Chair McCullough. Uh, we have uh, for this evening just one set of recognitions and it's our tradition at this uh, board meeting to recognize our, uh, the individuals who have announced their retirement since the previous school board meeting. And we have four individuals on our list uh, tonight and they include Deborah Anderson, teacher at Greenwood for 29 years, Tom Larson, West Middle School teacher, 17 years, Mark Ludvigson, high school teacher, 22 years, and Donna Peterson, Central Middle School Technology in the Unaffiliated Department. And uh, we greatly appreciate the work that they've done and want to thank them for their work. And we will give them a round of applause, although they are not here this evening. Thank you. All right, thank you, Dr. Anderson. The uh, next item on our agenda is superintendent's report. And it looks like for finance and business, we've got two items tonight. So I'll ask Mr. Westrom to uh, start us off with a review of monthly financial reports. Yes, it's my pleasure, Mr. Chair, members of the school board. This evening, we have two items. The first one is our monthly financial reports. And enclosed in your packet for school board review and information are the following financial reports as of November 2016. The student activity fund report, the investment summary, the analysis of the financial reports, a statement of revenues through November 30th and a statement of expenditures through November 30th. Uh, just a couple quick comments that I'd like to make as you're <coughs> probably aware that um, um, we uh, are, we um, completed the audit, I'm sorry, the June 30th audit and have updated um, all of our assumptions as we reviewed these reports. And I did wanna point out that if you look at the statement of expenditures, you'll note that um, Salary and benefits are slightly below historical percentages in the, in the common size financial reports. And that's primarily due to the fact that we had two contracts that um, had not been settled as of November 30th, but those contracts have now been settled. The board's approved those and the retroactive pay has been processed. So you'll see that those items are coming in right in line with what we projected. Um, our statement of revenues and expenditures also include the construction fund and you probably probably recall uh, the community approved $109 million worth of building bonds and construction activity. And because most of that activity occurs during the summer, uh, we wanna attempt to try to match those expenditures um, as best as we can with the, when they actually occur. So many of those expenditures occurred in July and August. And so the next informational item is our mid-year budget revision. 
and I'll make additional comments regarding the construction fund when we go through that agenda item. So no school board action is required and I'd be happy to answer any questions if there are any at this point. Okay, thank you, Mr. Westrom. Are there any questions tonight about the monthly financial reports? Okay, I will turn it back over to you for the uh, revised budget discussion. Yes, our second item is uh, we're asking the board to approve a revised budget for 2016-2017. The revenue adjustments reflect actual receipts year to date for fiscal year ending June 30th, 2017, revenue estimates and enrollment adjustments. You'll probably recall that October 1st is a big day for us. Until October 1st, we're basing most of our enrollment on projections and then on October 1st, that's a big date when we uh, kind of shore everything up for our revenues, our expenditures and our entitlements. We also receive federal programs that are adjusted from estimates to actual dollars expected to be received per the Minnesota Department of Education. The expenditures reflect the adjustments and updated information from the Minnesota Department of Education actual versus projected salary and benefits and carryover dollars from 2015-16. You probably recall that we have five funds, a general fund, the food service fund, the community service fund, the building construction fund, which I just uh, mentioned briefly, and then the debt service fund. If you'll note, uh, the total revenues that we're asking the board to approve are $179,437,575. And the expenditures are $206,378,878. The primary reason for the expenditures exceeding the revenues are the reappropriation of carryover dollars, which we mentioned. Um, those are dollars that uh, were budgeted last year, but the actual expenditures were incurred in July instead of in June. So we asked the board to reappropriate those dollars and we have reserved those as of June 30th in our financial audit. And then lastly, the building construction fund. Um, we actually anticipate we will be spent expending $33,497,643 of the original $109 million that was approved and authorized by our community. So with that, the recommended action is to approve the revised budget for 2016-17. And then once the board approves the revised budget, we'll actually begin the budgeting process for the 2017-2018 fiscal school year. Okay, thank you, Mr. Westrom. So the recommended action is to approve the revised budget for 2016-2017. Is there a motion? So moved. Thank you, is there a second? Second. All right, and any discussion? Okay, and given that this is a financial item, we'll go ahead. Oh, sure. Could I just wanted to ask one quick question. Sure. So of the $109 million in the bond, um, have we exhausted most of those because most of the projects are completed at this time? Um, thank you for that question. Yep. Bunch list yep. things Th left. Thank you for that question. Um, we actually have a finance committee of the board um, and we go through this in great detail. Um, most of those dollars will be expended. We have uh, set aside a sinking fund or an escrow for a couple of the items that will not be completed until the future. Um, for instance, you're probably aware that our voters approved a, an additional entrance and exit um, to the north of Wyzetta High School um, to a road that doesn't exist yet. So uh, we'll be setting aside those dollars and those dollars will uh, remain in the construction fund until the city of Plymouth actually completes 54th Avenue is what I believe it will be. But the great majority of those bond proceeds will be exhausted by June 30th, 2017. Okay, thank you. Yep. Uh, is there any other discussion? All right, and uh, given that this is a financial item, we'll go ahead and do a roll call vote, please. Ms. Lucky? Absent. Ms. Polzine? Yes. Mr. Brown? Yes. Ms. Keene? Yes. Ms. Cohen is absent. Ms. Johansson? Yes. Chair McCullough? Yes. Motion passes unanimously. All right, thank you, Ms. Keene. Uh, okay, the next item on our agenda tonight is other board action and we have a number of items to go through uh, that are a result of our organizational meeting or work session that we had last December. So as I noted earlier in my comments about the officer slate, the school board met last December at its annual 
organizational work session. At that meeting, the board discussed three things, the 2017 school board standing committee structure, the 2017 board appointments, and the 2017 board member compensation. The board's standing committee structure for 2017. During our discussion last December, the board's seven standing committees were presented for individual board members to indicate their interest in serving on those committees. A proposed list of committee assignments was created, and that list of assignments is included in the board materials. The recommended action is to approve the proposed board standing committee assignments for 2017 as presented in the materials. Is there a motion? I so move. Thank you. Is there a second? A second. Okay. Thank you, Ms. Polzine. Any discussion? Uh, before we vote, I would just like to say a little bit more about the board standing committee structure. Since most of the work of the school board happens in these seven board standing committees where the school board members work directly with the uh, district administration, I think it's important for the public to know what these committees are and which board members will be chairing each of them in 2017. It's a very important part of what we do as a school board. So uh, what I'd like to do is read the seven committees the board standing committees as well as the uh, individual board member who will be chairing that committee. So the first committee is finance and business and that will be sh chaired by Cheryl Polzine. Human resources and that will be chaired by Andrea Keen. The teaching and learning committee will be chaired by Linda Cohen. The stakeholder relations committee will be chaired by Bonita Lucky. Superintendent Evaluation and Compensation Committee will be chaired by Eric Brown. The Facilities Development and Long Range Planning Committee will be chaired by Cheryl Polzine. And the Policy and Regulation Review Committee will be chaired by Sarah Johansson. So is there any further discussion on the board standing committees? All right. So we have a motion on the floor to approve the board standing committees. All of those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Abstentions? All right, the motion carries and the proposed school board standing committees for 2017 are approved. The next item is our board committee appointments for 2017. So the school board members not only have a standing committee structure, each board member also serves in several liaison roles to other boards, committees, or organizations. Again, this is another important role that the board plays, in this case, in interacting with our larger committee, excuse me, larger community through these appointments. So again, at our December 2016 annual organizational work session, the board reviewed the various appointments to the different boards, committees, and organizations. Each board member indicated his or her interest in the various appointments, and a proposed list of appointments was created and is now included in the board materials. The recommended action is to approve these proposed school board appointments for 2017 as presented in the materials. Is there a motion to that effect? I so move. Thank you. Is there a second? I'll second. All right. Thank you. Any discussion? All right. And once again, I would like to add that given the importance of what our uh, appointments, uh, the, given the uh, importance of the appointments that the school board members have with these different committees, I think it's important for the community to know uh, who the individual board members will be serving on these various appointments. So I'll read them. The Association of Metropolitan School Districts, or AMSD, our board representative will, will be Cheryl Polzine. Our Great Expectations and Caring for Kids uh, board representatives will have Sarah Johansson for Caring for Kids and Linda Cohen for Great Expectations. For the Citizens Financial Advisory Council, or CFAC, we will have Cheryl Polzine Eric Brown and Sarah Johansson serving as the board representatives. For Community Education Advisory Council, our 2017 board representative will be Eric Brown. For our District Liaison Committee, we handle that through a rotation. 
each of the board members signs up for several different meetings throughout the course of the year. Our intermediate district 287 board representative will be Andrea Keene. Legislative Action Committee will also be Andrea Keene until June of 2017. Minnesota School Board Association or MSBA will be Cheryl Polzine as our board representative. Minnesota State High School League, our board representative will be Eric Brown. Partners for Healthy Kids, our board representative will uh, also be a rotation like we do with district liaisons. Partners in Prevention, the board representative will be myself. The QCOMP board representative in 2017 will be Linda Cohen. Our West Metro Educational Program, our WEMEP board rep will be Sarah Johansson. And the YZ Education Fund board representative will be Bonita Lucky. As I'm looking at my notes, I realized that uh, when we were speaking about the board standing committees, I neglected to mention the uh, employee negotiations assignments for 2017. We have a couple of contracts that will be up for negotiation in 2017. And we have the teachers <clears throat> contract and the two board representatives for the teachers contract will be Cheryl Polzine and Andrea Keene. And then we also have the home base employees contract and that board representative will be myself. Okay, with all of that, is there any further discussion about the board appointments? All right, so there's a motion on the floor. No further discussion. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Abstentions? All right, the motion carries, and our proposed school board appointments for 2017 <clears throat> are approved, which means you guys all have a lot of great work to look forward to doing in 2017. <laughs> All right, our final item under board reports is for all of the work that our school board members do. We'll talk a little bit about the board compensation for 2017. In accordance with school board policy 220, board member compensation and expense, the board has recommended that for 2017, the school board receive no increase in compensation and that the board should continue to be compensated at the following monthly rates. School board director, $360 per month, and school board chair, $425 per month. In addition, for special meetings and work sessions scheduled on days other than regular board meetings or work session days, each attending board member will continue to be paid at $50 per such meeting. The recommended action is to approve the proposed 2017 school board compensation that I just described. And again, the board has recommended no increase in compensation and recommended that the 2017 compensation is the same as it was in 2016. So is there a motion to that effect? So moved. All right, thank you. Is there a second? Second. All right, thank you. Um, any discussion? I do think it's important to note that um, the board members, uh, all of us are very mindful of the amount of money that the district is uh, spending to accommodate the great growth that we have in our district. And so we felt it was important to not increase our compensation as a, as a, uh, as a measure of our, the value that we place on being conservative in the way we spend money in the district. So I was happy that uh, that's where we ended up. So I think it's an important thing for the, the public to know that. Any further discussion? All right. If there's uh, no more discussion, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Abstentions? All right, the motion carries, and the proposed school board compensation for 2017 is approved. All right, the next item on our agenda tonight, uh, board reports. Any board members have any reports tonight? I feel like I've done all the talking tonight. <laughs> In fact, I know I've done all the talking tonight. All right, our last item, our second to last item, audience opportunity to address the board. All right. And since there are no members of the audience who would like to address the board, I will ex take a motion to adjourn. All right, so move. All right, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Abstentions? 
Okay. The Wyzetta School Board, uh, Wyzetta Public Schools Board of Education organizational and regular meeting for January 9, 2017 is adjourned.